everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to set up your Basso Lights app. You're gonna go ahead and register for an account. Okay, now it's gonna ask for an OTP verification code that was sent to your email to connect to. Now that I am connected, it will go ahead and tell me you are connected to Rogers 2.4G. That's the network I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and then continue again. It's gonna ask me my home password. And now I am going to be at the page that says enter systems Wi-Fi name. So your Wi-Fi name will be provided to you by your technician, or you can even get your Wi-Fi name for your lights by standing close to your Basso box and then just looking in your Wi-Fi settings um, of your actual cell phone again. I can show you here on mine. I see my Basso. It is Basso-552 Frank Frank Charlie. So that is what I'm going to input into here. It is all lowercase. And then I'm going to hit validate. And it's gonna say scanning for device, please wait. Okay, it found it. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that on. It says, are you sure you want to connect? Yes, I am. And then it's gonna say connecting to the device, please wait. With a cute little cat. Sometimes this does take a couple of tries. Um, what the system is doing is it's trying to merge your home network with our lights network at the same time. So sometimes this could take a few tries for you. And then it's going to ask me my device configuration settings. So um, my data line one is going to be how many lights that I have. Max current will stay at 5,000 always. Um, I do have 131 light. Go ahead and change that to 131. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to say create a zone to get started. You can always do this later. So I just always hit continue. And then it's going to bring me to the dashboard. That's how you know you're successfully on board now and successfully got your device added to the dashboard. Um, you will see here a little exclamation point next to your system name. Um, this is where our firmware updates are going to be going forward for the app. This is an in-app update. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that exclamation point and then hit update. And it'll say downloading file, please wait. Perfect. Now my system's completely up to date. And then you should be onboarded onto our app from here. 